Hello game devs. I recently picked up one of the new Apple Silicon 2020 M1 Mac minis because I wanted to see if I could possibly replace my late 2015 MacBook Pro with something a bit faster that doesn't sound like a rocket taking off every time I click a button in Unity. The Mac mini model I got has the 8-core M1 processor and 8GB of RAM, but I opted for a larger 512GB SSD because I don't like the number 256. Currently Unity does not have a native ARM version of the editor, so it runs in Apple's Rosetta 2 translation slash emulator software, which makes programs run on Apple Silicon by using magic. So one of the two cons I've found so far running Unity on this M1, is startup time is slower than my previous MacBook by a significant amount. Just be prepared for the spinning beach ball of shame while you load up your projects. In this video I'll be testing with Unity version 2019.4.0 F1. I have also tested with version 2020.2 beta and performance was the same for me. Navigating 3D scenes in the editor is smooth AF, panning and zooming feel smooth like a baby's behind. I have not experienced any lag even in extremely complex scenes. The same goes for the hierarchy as well, it feels snappy and responsive even in my bigger projects with a plethora of objects. The second con I have found is with scripts. Editor compile time after creating new scripts and saving scripts is slower than my older MacBook which by the way is an i7 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. On my MacBook script compiles take about 3 seconds, on this M1, script compiles take about 6 seconds, so be prepared for the Unity compile wheel of shame, every time you hit Command S. Visual Studio launches pretty quick, about the same speed as my MacBook Pro, which is pretty fire considering Visual Studio is also running in Rosetta 2. Here is me adding some extremely complex code to a script and watching YouTube for 6 seconds while I wait for the compile wheel of shame to tell me I can use the editor again. Play mode performance on the M1 is tip top. This FPS micro game demo runs great, I'm getting a wee bit under 100 frames per second consistently. I also tried this blue guy in a go-kart demo as well. It gets over 300 frames per second on this thing. So it can run these smaller games without a hitch. But what about a more complex project, like the 3D game kit demo? As I showed in my other video where I played through the entire demo, the performance is off the chain. It runs this project well over 60 frames per second in the large outdoor areas, and over 100 frames per second in the indoor areas. This is pretty wild when you think about it. A M1 Mac Mini with only 8GB of RAM, running Unity inside Rosetta 2. With this kind of performance, what a time to be alive. Compile times for desktop have been slower than my MacBook Pro, but still pretty good. A small game like the FPS micro game demo, compiled in 1.4 minutes. Larger games like the 3D Game Kit demo, compiled in 13.4 minutes. I think for developers targeting mobile, specifically iOS, the M1 will have the biggest benefits. Most of my work projects are for iOS. The time I save in compiling and archiving Unity projects in Xcode far outweighs the time lost on script compiles in the editor. Xcode on the M1 is a beast, I have a pretty big project that I built on both of the machines, the M1 smoked the MacBook, compiling the project in 1.2 minutes versus the MacBook's 5.2 minutes, so is the M1 Mac Mini good for game development with Unity? That's gonna be a yes from me dog. Keep in mind I'm using the base model Mac Mini with only 8GB of RAM and all the editor footage was while QuickTime was capturing the screen. Even the 3D game kit performance was while I was capturing the game with OBS. Again all of this was with Unity running in Rosetta 2. If Unity runs this good right now being emulated slash translated, imagine how fast it's gonna be next year when the native ARM editor comes out. I would also like to add during my use that the Mac Mini has not gotten hot enough for the fan to turn on yet, even when doing the 13-minute compile of the 3D game kit project or compiling mobile projects in Xcode. This thing stays cooler than a polar bear's toenails. If this video was helpful to you, click that like button and subscribe for more M1 game development content, as well as some other game development bits and bobs. Peace out.